Hi, Adrian Ficcioni from Fatch Fitness. Here I am again at the Australian National University gym, and so they've, been, they've kindly allowed me to have access to this facility. Now today what I wanted to cover is I wanted to cover an exercise that's used very frequently in circuits all over the world, and that's the standard burpee. Now, the burpee is an exercise that, because of the speed of movement, places a huge amount of stress on core stability, and without core stability what will happen is the hip flexors again will come in and try and do as much of the work as possible in keeping your pelvis in a reasonable position, but it then ends up putting a huge amount of stress on your lower back. So let me give you a demonstration of what a burpee, and this is not particularly dynamic, but what a sort of a standard burpee should look like. So I'm going to come on down, come out, land in a really solid position. Now the key with this is that I've landed in a really strong push-up position, and then I can come back and jump or do whatever I need to do. What we see happen though is that as fatigue sits in or people just aren't strong enough to start with is there's a couple of errors. So what will happen is, is they come on down and they hit the ground, they're unable to maintain this position and they will drop through the hips. And or they'll drop through their arms and the hips and that will be their kind of finished position before they sort of climb back out of the exercise. So what do we need to do? So there's four main things that we should really focus on when you're doing a burpee. Firstly, when you go to go down into the burpee, you should think about very strong abdominally bracing, and I've covered that in a previous clip. Strong abdominal brace prior to you getting into that landing position. If you try and engage after you've landed, then there's a real chance that you're going to sort of give way through your core. Two, you should think about keeping your backside up a little bit when you're about to go into that landing position. Because if you land with a total straight body, so if I land in this position here, I give myself absolutely no no leeway at all, but if I land with my bum up a little bit like this, then even if there is a little bit of movement, at least I've minimised getting to this horrible position. The third thing you should really think about when you get into your burpee position is to land with really strong shoulders, pushing away, and make a really strong push-up slash plank position is really key. And then the last thing you should do is as fatigue sets in, slow the exercise down, because it's the velocity and the momentum of the movement that actually places so much challenge through this area with the hip flexors then getting engaged and pulling on your lower back.